Yeah. Oh, oh, hi. <laughs> oh, it's so nice to see you here. What? You don't know where I'm at? What's the matter with you? You don't know what I'm doing here? I'm here with the furniture guys. What is the matter with you? Why are you watching? You don't know why you're watching? You want to learn how to repair grandma's old ironing board? That's the boy who can do it. You know, the kid with the, you know, like this thing. <laughs> this is Al Lewis. You didn't know my name? This is Al Lewis, Grandpa Munster. What is the matter with you? You can't make me feel bad. Oh, no way. Listen, I, I have to tell you, I love the show. I really do. You know why? Because I love the guys. They're not, they, I mean, let's face it, they're not German cabinet makers. I mean, let's not go overboard, you know what I mean? But they're nice fellas. And listen, it's better that way. They should be homeless. They should be walking the streets with a paper Dixie cup. Give them a job. I love the show, really. And I want you to keep watching because I'm going to watch you watching the show. Yeah. My name is Ed Feldman. And I'm John Mario. And today we're going to be doing this oak bookcase. But first, <laughs> we got to take the hardware off, right? We thought that up on the spot. Can you tell? Because they said, what are you going to do for the beginning? We said, that's it. And I'm going to be taking off the hinges. The hinges. Just watch the, oh, God. See, Norm always picks up the right screwdriver that's the first too much. time. This That's is from Atlantic City High School, you know. This one is right out. That's right out. I gotta take I gotta take this off here. And this is a plus. See, there's two kinds of screwdrivers: a plus uh -huh. and a minus. Very technical. This is the right one. Look this at is this. how we pad. You see this? Somebody put gum all over a nail. See, this door won't open. Look. Well, that's what you do in high school. The door won't open all the way. You chew gum and you put it on things. I'm going to put this piece of wood here to protect the wood. Use the vice grips. Hit the vice grips down on there. Lock it shut. And then, see that? Yeah. Oh! Ugh. Like you could have damaged that top anymore. Oh! Look at the size of that nail they got in there. Look at I had a perfect extraction. Nothing gets more. Now it opens. Nothing gets yeah. more abuse than anything in a high school. Oh, excuse, Ow! Excuse me. I'm you sorry. You hit me right in my big battery pack. Could you move that over there? Can I tell you, uh, just as a sidelight, here's how to take off uh, hinges. You take off every one except the top screw, and you take that one off last. Remember that. This show is full of facts like that. So are you. It's amazing. Now get out of here and wait for the next scene to come up. Hey, look at this, putting this re orange remover on, and it's, this finish is coming right off. And for you people who have uh, seen us do this many, many, many times before, don't tune out because this is different. Why is this different? Well, we've decided to uh, use the orange stripper while we both really have to go to the bathroom bad. So it's just a little different kind of take on Badly. stripping here. Badly. <laughs> Look, when I put my stripper on here, look at this. It's coming right off, see that? Look, look at that hole I'm making in the finish right there. Now what this had on it was originally a shellac, an and it's probably got like finish. an old a varnish over top of it. And, uh, and over top of it, a lot of grease from teenagers because this was out of a high school. Did we mention that, the Atlantic City High School? Out of Atla Atlantic City High School. What the heck is this, gum? Yeah, I saw that. It's got to be pulled off there, I think. Uh, not by me, baby. It's not gum, though. It's some kind of plaster thing. Yeah, this was taken out from Atlantic City High School, or as we call it around here, Atlantic City High School. Which is right across from the Knife and Fork, what they used in Atlantic City with Burt Lancaster and Susan Sarandon. And Sarandan. we go there all the time. And Susan, if you want to leave that uh, handsome, famous, rich guy any time. You, you can come on our show. Yeah, you're closer to my age anyway. Look at that, it looks like the craters of the moon here. I think she's pretty much finished with that guy with the talent, right? Moment of silence, ladies and gentlemen, for Burt Lancaster. See, if you breathe real heavy with one of these on, you can fog up your glasses, like. 
All right. Is it a pizza pie you ordered? <laughs> hey, no meat the ball. Got anchovies. No meat the ball. We're going to take all this remover off now with the chips. I got a bucket of them here. And it's all going to come off real easy because there was no hardly any finish on there at all. All and of it's been worn out by the ha the greasy hands of adolescents. And it's so much prettier, the wood, in its natural state. Look at that. It's got a nice, pretty color on it, because what was on top of it was polyurethane, which had turned a ucky, icky green. Yeah, they probably redid this, because this is from, like, 1910, these bookcases. They probably urethaned them in the 60s or something. This now, is more, more check, in check out with... the bottom here. Look at that old stuff. This is more in keeping with the actual color, what the wood and was. And watch that come off. I love a nice old finish because it's so easy to work with. Most old wood, this is the color it's going to be. Not that icky green stuff. And we still have to go to the bathroom really badly. You know icky green? That's Shecky Green's cousin. <laughs> Two different worlds. A paper world, a digital world. Worlds that didn't always work together until now. The Xerox Document Center. The digital copier printer with so many possibilities, we put it in a video. The Document Center talks to any computer on your network. Stay at your desk and have it print, copy, collate, staple, even fax without getting up. Let the Document Center know what to do and it shows you everything is fine. You can scan a page and see it on your screen. Now make a change, email it to George, then on to Sally who prints it out. Your free video also shows how the Xerox Document Center has built-in internet access, so it responds to a print or fax command from anywhere in the world. And since it's modular and upgradable, you only buy what you need. Call for your free video now. What's digital? What's paper? What's the difference? Coming up on Hands On TLC. Get it right the first time. D means business, so stop messing around. It's time to get busy on Home Time, next on TLC. It's ballistic, it's bad, and totally rad. It's Motorball, radio-controlled motor madness. Race it, roll it, flip it, fly it. It's brand new, you gotta try it. It's two space-age spheres attached to two monster motors and controlled independently by a radio frequency remote. You get 1,000 RPMs of pulse-pounding power, two crazy 360 spins, rocket ramp jumps, and super sweet tricks. Drag your dog wild or chase your sister. Race motorball with your blades, with your board, or a bike. Kick butt on anything you like. Oh, yeah. With super grip knobby tires, it cuts through grass and tears up the track. It's the ball that all. Crush it, smash it, it's made of plastic. You can paint it, put stickers on it, do it all. Hey, it's your motorball. Fear the frequency, because motorball mania is here. It's only available at Toys R Us. Or call the number on your screen. Must be 18 or older to call. Washing down with a final wash and nap for the piece of strip with the orange stripper, and then it was uh, we hey, used. Hey, slow down, boys. Slow we used down. lacquer center and alcohol got off the residue, and the planet chips you saw that they're always so much fun. And now we're doing the final wash with nap to, to make sure all that residue is gone. And if you think uh, nothing's coming off here, just uh, take a look at that. It is getting dark, so we are taking stuff off. However, we have literally uncovered another problem that we didn't know we had when all the dark finish was on. Which also happens. We've got a ton of graffiti here that we're going to have to do something about. Especially this one, it says, Free Tupac Shapur. Isn't he that Indian guy that writes those books about self-realization? No, no, no. That's Deepak Chopra. No. Well, what's the difference? But the other guy's name is Tupac Shapur. Well, I thought Deepak Chopra was the rapper guy who, no, no, who no, no, gets no. into trouble all he the time. He wrote the book, the best-selling books. I, I get him confused. He's I making some confused. money now, too, you can tell, because he's a little chubby around the waistline, <laughs> eating a lot of chicken cheesesteaks. Too much curry. Well, right after we take a break for this next fun drive. Oh, wait a minute. No, we're not no, on. No, we're not. You're all confused today, aren't you? What? We're not on PBS. No PBS anymore. I forgot. I'm a Bradshaw man. The guy with the mobiles. The, oh, he's great. We're gonna. We were gonna do Bradshaw on furniture. 
Here is the here is the uh, the adult chair. These are the owner's chairs. Right. This is the dog's the house. Dog. You see, the dog stays in the house. The he does dog not go on. Does not go, on, not the go chair. on the chair. The chair is for mother and father. The dog is not allowed to go on the chair. See, he's been making some extra money too. He's wrapped too tight. It's hell, the first season of him, he had like a sweater on. Now he's got three-piece suits on. Oh yeah, he goes to Boyd's now. <laughs> Here he's, we go. I wouldn't want to be his son. Get certificates for everyone. He reminds me. Of Ward Cleaver too much. <laughs> Look at this. Lots of marks in here. See these little marks? It's from the door opening up. You know why? Because these hinges that were holding the door up, they were leaning because the right pin, this is the wrong pin. See that? It's a little piece of like a uh, hanger or something stuck in there. So it's, it's, there's play in the hinges. And because of that reason, the weight of the door was pulling down. When you open it, it creates these marks. You can leave them that way and say, I think it looks like character. Or you can belt sand them and get rid of it. It's going away. Ed, what are you doing? Having a hoagie over there? No, I'm, I'm making it to Dems. Hey, you know, vinegar is good for cleaning lots of things. Brass and parts of you even. But today I'm going to be making a lovely stew. No, actually I'm cleaning the brass hinges and such. Hello there. Oh, over there? Are you sure? Okay. And all I'm doing, hot, regular hot vinegar. You don't want no yuppie vinegar, no apricot balsamic no apple vinegar. cider no apple cider no vinegar. wolverine flavored vinegar all you do is you make your vinegar hot and you put in anything brass and then you pull it out after a while and you take a brush and you just start and the and the old tarnish is coming off the trunich <laughs> look at that boy with lots of brass my favorite maynard ferguson album Got to cook some more. And boy, it smells so pungent. I want to pour this all over my shumai. How's it working? Well, I think it needs to cook a little more, but it depends. You know, you, you know can what? make it really shiny if you leave it in a long time, but I think I just want it a little tarnished. I think you can use the pressure cooker, too. Oh, you've got more for Well, me. those I just to explain. There you go. Stir it around in there and, be, and it'll be fine. I am trapped in how to. Chained. Not, not even Houdini could get out of this show. No, he couldn't. Look, I'm I'm chained and I'm and I'm gonna shellac the inside of the piece. You'll never guess what we're using to seal Once again, our wood. Mixed five to one. It is called a spit code. <laughs> That's right, you famous people, you. Thank you so much. I'm doing the drawer fronts. Need this for later. Wait so, a minute. Is that my dog chained up outside? Was that the new dog you just bought? Yeah. What kind of dog is that? Golden Retriever. <laughs> now, you may see in here the shellac. Over here, it's nice and clean. I just applied new. Over here, it's all moldy. <laughs> so that mode goes in there, we you know? We have to hurry because i got to watch my favorite uh, soap opera. Which one is that? The Bode and the Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know how many people write us every day and say, you know, we watch your show, but we don't know what the hell you're talking about. <laughs> and uh, just so you know, that when we write this stuff, and some of it we actually do write, most of it we don't. When we do write our stuff, we think about it and we say, you know, everybody will get this. Let's cut it out. <laughs> Look, here's the piece that I uh, resurfaced. And I'm going to put some shellac over that. Let's see what it came out to look like. Nice and clean. Almost too clean. So you, filthy it up a little. See the edge here. The edge is the aged wood. And Though I got all of the carvings out of there, it's still a little lighter, but I don't care. It's mine. 
There's gonna, it's be, gonna be yours. It's gonna be so much stuff all over this. I'm telling you. Are you gonna put all your uh, Castiles and uh, yeah. everything in here? I'll all your uh, see uh, VHS tapes up here. Yeah. And uh, I, one of my favorite ones go right here. Which one? In Code Blood. <laughs> Robert Blake. Where is Robert Blake? I wish he'd come on our show. You know, they're showing some of the old Berettas. I love those shows, especially the ones with Rooster in them. If I could just watch all the Starsky and Hutch, except cut out everything but Huggy Bear, I'd be fine. See, now Star Starsky and Hutch I never watched. I hated it except but for Antonio Fargus. Anything with Antonio Fargus is fine. I liked watching Cannon because anytime you could see a fat guy running up a hill, it's a killer. Write that us in, folks. What's funnier? <laughs> William Conrad running after a crook or Buddy Epson? I knew you were going to Buddy say Epson. <laughs> Buddy Epson. Because you know what they're holding at the top of that hill? A glass of milk. <laughs> He's running Run right like after Run like Buddy Epson. Run like Buddy He's funny. You know, he was supposed to originally be the Scarecrow. And he's thinking about that all the time. I think I'll have a glass of milk. Buddy Epson, he can't kick too soon to suit me. action figure stuff is hard How about that well you know this light wood that I belt sanded to get off all the the graffiti it's, now, it's a little, now too light it's light so what we're going to do I'm going to put a little bit of stain on this is an oil stain and it's got some uh, the burnt sienna and some Van Dyke Brown that mini wax actually it's not <laughs> uh, but it's in a, but mini it's in wax a can, can. It's, good. And it's good enough you put this put this on like there and then sand it in. Margaret, all they do is either darken light wood or lighten dark wood. And then... Why don't they just leave the wood alone? When you wipe it, look, it'll have a hey, little more... Hey, it's blending right in. It's a little more of a blend. As Norm usually says, I think this stain is going to make our project look real nice. By then, I'm asleep. Hmm. I, Delicious. I'm applying, <laughs> I'm applying the varnish with the brush, because the shellac was all sanded down using the 400 grit paper. And now I do see the rails of the board. Dip in, flip, do the styles. Mm -hmm. And this is how you varnish. And it's got a pretty color. That orange shellac rendered a nice color. And then we put it up top here to dry, just like being in the oven, see? Hey, I'm cutting on a 45 new pieces of trim because the old pieces of trim are stinky and we had to break them and they are old. So we've got some quarter round. This is what it's called. You paid it's a called, quarter for that. It's called quarter round because if you can, would continue and make it round round, you'd need three more quarters. And if you grind so it up, it would be ground round. It's one way to put it. Hey, you know, there's so many ways to make a 45-degree angle. Sometimes I just place it against the 45 and make a mark like that right where the middle comes. But Norm would be mad. And uh, another, another way is to do it like this and to make your mark like this. But you know what? I just eye it up with the old quarter round, and then I cut it. Can we see how you eye it up? Well, I just eye it up with the old quarter round. It's over here. Right? Oh, okay. And I just continue this same 45 cut. Ah, now I got you. Who cares? <laughs> this is entertainment. And besides, unless you have a miter box like we don't, Such a cheap the main here. thing is not to get everything on an exact 45. The main thing is to make it match the other piece that's coming down, just the like of that. I'll just continue. Look, I'm working on the side here now. Mm -hmm. And when you varnish, I'm taking the, the brush loaded with varnish and I'm pulling up from the bottom. Joan Rivers has that done. She has it pulled up from the bottom. Then she goes on TV, makes a lot of money selling perfume. Mm -hmm. Diamonds and stuff. Who are the other ones? Tova? 
Tova, have you seen Ernest lately? He the looks work of good. Tovas. He looks good. Work of Tova's. Hey, I think uh, that, that Mary Feeney likes you. That Mary Feeney. You want to call her? She was that big girl. I think she likes you. Now, the next thing you do after you get your 45s. Is commit yourself. <laughs> well, the next thing you do is you got to stain a little bit. And I'm going to stain with a brush too big. That's like a bridge too far. <laughs> brush too big. A brush too big, because <laughs> that's what they gave me. Well, better than having a too small brush. Yeah. You always want a big brush. You're all, big is always good, because if you don't want it all, you can just use part of it. But if your brush is too small, then you, you got need a problem. more. Then you got to check into Crazy Ward. Then you, <laughs> then you got trouble. Just stain. I'm not going to stain the back. Hey, look at this varnish. Look how it looks really pretty over that. I'm impressed myself. All I have to do now is make my, my holes. And what I've done is I put a little brad in with the pilot to make the pilot holes. And I drill down like this. Then I get a brad, a brad, a brad pit, Davis, pit or Davis, and I just bang it in like that. Oh, it's beautiful. And you don't want to miss and hit the mirror, uh, the glass, because that's the worst part. Now that's oh. beautiful. The shellac and the varnish is all dried now. It's a nice looking piece. All we gotta do is put the hardware back on. Wait a minute, don't you hear that noise? I hear something. That Cuckoo, sounds... Daddy. It's the Big Apple. New York is calling. Let's get out of here. Dun, dun, da, 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 da. You don't know where we are. The Twin Cities, Minneapolis, St. Paul. Oh, you liar. Look, there's, what's that? If we put you on top there, and then yeah. you're screaming, and, huh, and then the planes come in. It was beauty that killed me. Uh, uh, uh. No, we're at 24th and 6th Avenue, avenues for, of the Americas for the tourists, and we're at the biggest flea market, furniture and otherwise, probably in this here nation. You should see all the furniture, knickknacks, paintings, clothes, everything you could imagine. Every, everybody comes here, drag queens, chassids, you name it. So you're going to follow us around, and we'll see what we can find. Fine, let's go. Follow. Look, does anybody remember this sofa? We did this on the show. How does it make it to New York? And now it's here. You'll get at least $100 for does it, it. Does it have its own car? I don't know these things. It just made it here. This Look. Is, this is real old. This see, is you can see real old stuff. The umpire strikes. Look at here. See this? You can see the, the joint there. This is the tenon. This is the, the mortise. See? Tenon goes in to Gazinta. Goes into the mortise. <laughs> see that? And look, you put this on it, Bob's your uncle. Goes right it's away. It's beautiful. Now look. Napoleon couldn't have done have any better. Say ah. Uh, that's Don't you touch stick. me with that. Especially if it has like a pound of old English on it. <laughs> Come on, let's keep going. Of course, you can find lots of nice architectural items. Look at this beautiful deco sconce. Wait, let's see. This would look good right up here. Thank you. Now I'm Wonder Woman. I just need a little <laughs> silicone, and I'm set. See, I told you we made this stuff in this century. You're trying to prove that we're in New York still? They saw the Empire State Building. <laughs> like, a, like a ransom note. Yes, we stole him on this day. He doesn't read that. He lines the birdcage with it. Look. Look at this. It's pretty. Zebra wood. Zebra. Veneer. Of course, this is a, this is mahogany here, but the outside of the car. I'd say 39 to 46, Closet. somewhere in there. Look at this. Now, this is a design flaw. You open this drawer, and there's a pull here. See, so you got to open the drawer, take the pull out a little, tell, and then then you can lean on it. And say they where. screwed it up just a little bit, but it's okay. We don't mind because I like it. Very it's massive, and it's got kind of that skyscraper effect so that was popular in the in the 20s and 30s. Right, and you got your drawers and your closet, and over here you got your your sideboard, and that's it. And what's big now after the 50s? 60s and 70s modular seating from Herman Miller. I'm sorry, sir. Look at this. And of course, my favorite. Hey, is a bean bag? Oh, so comfortable. A but nice bean bag. Show me. <laughs> I love that scene. Mm. Oh, it smells like trash day around oh, here. Shut oh my goodness. Now we've been got walking the all day, and that's quite enough. I bought one thing: a little sharpening stone in a box. And I lost my juicer. Well, I'm Joe Lorario. I'm Ed Feldman. Be nice. 
to your furniture. We, we called yeah. Grandpa, we talked to him, and he said he was a big fan of our show. And oh, I love it. And I'm a big air conditioner. So I we, love it. We asked if he'd come and uh, do a little You're talk a big with us. everything. Oh, yeah. uh, you don't tell know the half of him. No, I just wanted to say one thing to you. Yes. Zero population. <laughs> <laughs>